Hello everyone, welcome to my latest tutorial and as you can see it's featuring Timo Werner of Red Bull Salzburg. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So as you can see here, I've made this edit for Instagram, it's just uh, it's quite simple. I've got uh, Timo here in the background, we've clipped him into this rectangle and then we've got him in the front as well and we've uh, We've desaturated his skin, uh, his skin tones and whatnot, just to make him uh, stand out and pop a little bit more. Uh, so, a couple of little uh, features and techniques to learn today. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command N because I'm working on a Mac or Control N. Now, the document size I'm using is 1,000 1080 by 1080 pixels. Apparently, uh, that's ideal for Instagram. So, if you're going to use it for Instagram or social media. Uh, use whatever you feel, but this is for Instagram, so it's 1080. And 300 pixels uh, per inch, RGB color 8 bit, and white background. I'm going to click create. Uh, now I've got a few uh, swatches that I've uh, already done. So if you can't see this here, okay, uh, I have my color palette over here, and I've gone for FFD 485. FFD 485. Now I'm going to, because I've got it set as my foreground, I'm going to press Alt and Backspace and it's going to fill it nicely. Likewise, if you press Command and Backspace uh, on your keyboard, it will fill it with whichever colour you've got here. And I'm just going to unlock that layer. So now I'm going to drop in my first image. It's this texture, this earth texture. I'll uh, try and find this online. I've just got this as a, like a stock image in my files, so I'll try and find that and put the link in the description below for all these images. I'm going to drop the fill down to around 15. So you can't quite see it, but it just gives it a little bit of texture and a little bit of variation. Next, I'm going to add a rectangle. Now, let me just check the rectangle I used before 524779. So I'm going to do it roughly. In fact, what I can do is 524779. And then it's given us uh, the same as before. So just before I sort that out, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back down to my bottom layer here. I've got my rulers selected. If you can't see your rulers, press Control or Command R, and uh, they'll pop up or disappear. And if you're going to do that as well, make sure you go to View, make sure you've got uh, Snap as well. And what it's going to do is it's going to snap into the middle. So I'm going to find the center of the image. And... There we go. I'm going to go back to my rectangle, press Command T for my transform tool, and I'm just going to bring it up. I'm not going to quite align it uh, quite central. And I'm going to go for something like that. I'm going to hit Enter. Uh, now, for the pattern. So when you make your rectangles, well, make sure you've got shape selected. For the fill, okay, the first color I'm going to be using is... I've got this red color. In fact, sorry, what's going on? There we go. I'm going to uh, select this red color where they've gone. And so that's C50F0B. So it doesn't have to be these colors. Uh, it could be colors associated with your team or your, your club. Okay, um, I just I selected these colors from, um, from Timo's shirt. So C50F0B, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to double click on that layer there. And it's just a slight variation. And it's F08816. F08816. I'm going to hit OK. And you can just hold that. Make sure you've got no stroke selected. Um, the stroke is what goes around the side of the, uh, the rectangle, the shape, and we don't want that. So just the fill. OK. So next, I am going to bring in Timo doing his celebration. And where am I going to position him? Make him a little bit bigger. Just going to compare him to this one. Yeah, it's looking about the same. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press, so I've got this from 40 renders as well. I'll link in the description below. I'm going to press Command J on my Mac or Control J and that duplicates it. Or you can just drag and drop it onto the new layer just there. This top layer then, I'm going to go to Filter, Other, and high pass, two pixels, click on the preview so you can see it, click OK, 
I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay and what this does is it sharpens our image. So if we get rid of it there, you can see that we've just sharpened it. Next, I'm going to give him a gradient. So I'm going to uh, go down to my adjustment tools and I'm going to go to gradient. And we're going to choose the same gradients as before. So I'm going to click on that one. And then on my swatches over here, it's the latest color that I used. C50 F0B, click OK. Where this green is, again, uh, I'm going to click on that orange and click OK. OK. And OK, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come out of there for a second. I'm going to hold Alt. I'm going to create a clipping mask just to clip it. You can see now I've changed his skin tone. And let me just check, I've reduced the fill down massively on this, let me just see what we went with, in fact I can't because of the process, what we'll do is we'll drop it down, we want it to stand out a little bit, 60, how does 60 look, 60 looks good, I think I might have used 60, yep so change your fill down to 60. So you can see now that we've uh, added our gradient and it's changed its tones as well. And I, I quite like it. I think I'm going to use it in a few more edits, this uh, this style. Uh, it kind of gives it like an oil, oil paint filter. Anyway, what we're going to do next is we're going to click on our other high pass, uh, sh our sharpened image. Click the new layer icon. I'm going to hit D on my keyboard and this sends my uh, colour palette over here on the left, black and white. Hit B from a brush tool. Right click, select a soft brush, this is just a standard brush, people have asked me about this before, it's just a standard brush that comes with Photoshop, and I'm going to drop the fill down 25, pass it down to about 50, let's try that, use my bracket keys, okay, and what you can do now is, you can just go around the image, it might be a little bit too strong, okay, and just accentuate the shading. So that's all I did uh, on the other one. Okay, you can really take your time. Do is I just do the main features. Okay, what I would recommend is you get it all up in his hair as well, in the hairline. Okay, I'm just quickly doing it. However, what I did is every single little line here and, and here and whatnot. Okay, use the bracket keys on your keyboard. And just go along and just fill in the shading basically. If it's a little bit too strong, 25, drop the flow down. Um, if you follow my tutorials before, you know exactly what I'm going on about. So just for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to rename the shading. New layer. Okay, I'm going to call this highlights. Hit X on your keyboard and it swaps the colours over. And it's just the same again, and you can just go along and all the highlights of the image, okay, use that bracket key, excuse me, just go along and you can just see the little subtle differences that you're making. And what that does is it just makes your image a lot cleaner, a lot crisper, and a lot more presentable and looks a lot better. Obviously, just for the purpose of the tutorial, okay. I've just rushed, but on this image, I did take my time, and yeah, it looks really good when you uh, when you apply yourself to it. So anyway, you get the uh, the gist of what I'm doing there. Rather than me just go through it and speed it up for you, I'm just gonna leave it there. And I believe that was it. Maybe did we play with the levels? Create clipping mask. Yeah, you can play with round with the levels as well. Make sure you got it clipping mask. It's only working Timo. Again, each image is going to be different, so don't necessarily just copy the values that I'm using here. Uh, but I have used ten and two four five on the shadows and highlights, and it makes a subtle difference. Okay, what we're going to do now is then. So we've got this top layer selected, this levels. Okay, you're going to go down. I'm going to hold shift, I'm going to click on Timo. If 
you notice all these layers are now highlighted. Okay, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna merge the layers. And then it's now just one layer. So now we, we can't edit this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold Alt, click in between the layers, create a clipping mask. Okay, hold Alt to cancel it, or you can just right click, uh, create a clipping mask just there. And we've done the first part. Okay, next we're gonna bring in the knee slide celebration. I'm gonna position him up and around and just a little bit off center, nothing too crazy. Hit enter a second, let me just check. He's a little bit bigger on this one. Come on, T. That's looking a lot better. Okay. Uh, we're going to add a gradient layer, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, fact, let me just see what we did, let's just go back just so we're doing the exact same thing, uh, Timo, just go to the shadow, yep, black and white, gradient fill and levels, yep, okay, so what we'll do first, we'll uh, Adjustment layer, black and white. Create a clipping mask and click OK. Now, on this um, on this image here, on your layer thumb, on your layer mask thumbnail, just there. OK. I'm going to hit B for the brush tool. Get the passy right up to 100. Get the flow right up to 100. Okay, if you can see there, just if you go over the wording, okay, you can slide up and down. That's what I'm doing there. Bracket tools, make the keys a bit bigger. I'm going to select a hard brush. Okay, now I know it's not the best because um, he's wearing a white shirt, but the logo still pops out and whatnot. And you still get a little bit of color variation. Okay, just be careful when you get close up to his skin. Okay, we want to keep that nice black and white. See there, a little bit of color variation. Okay, there we go. Uh, just sped it up a little bit, uh, just to get on with it. Um, and then we're going to do another gradient. So we're going to do the gradient again. So we're going to go adjustment layers and select gradient at the top there. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to turn it into a clipping mask. Then I'm going to go back, double click on that thumbnail, and just select your red and green again. So for the red. We choose our original red, which was the C50 F0B. And then where the green is, I'm just going to click that. I'm going to go back to my swatches, and it was that orange, which is the F08816. Click OK. Click OK again. If I'm going too pressed, just press J on your keyboard, and it'll take you back 10, 15 seconds. I digress, so I'm going to just... Click on the layer, okay, and you can move it around up and down. Um, but it's linear, so just move it up and down. Go for something like that. I'm going to click OK. And it's clipped in. And again, what did I use there? Overlay. Let's see, I need a lot of time playing around with it. Click on Overlay. And again, Drop it down, try 30, I think I did 20 on this one. 20, yeah. There we go, and it just gives it another little bit of texture as well, which I do like. Um, yeah, so that's looking fantastic. Okay, what we need to do is we need to add a shadow underneath. So click on your levels one here, this, uh, this merge layer. Click new layer and it'll pop up above it. Okay, right click, and we want soft brush. Okay, and then we're gonna drop this down and change the shape. But uh, yeah, we'll go with that shape there. Okay, make it a bit bigger, like I said. Okay, press on your keyboard, make sure you've got black selected. 
and then what we can do is I'm going to drop the flow, pass it down to 50 just for the shadow. It's pretty simple, self explanatory. And then 25. Okay, give it a couple of clicks, and then if you notice, because he's not quite aligned because he's at a bit of an angle, okay, I'm just not just doing one big one, okay, I'm just doing one over his, his knee and his boot, and then one there. And by the time you've clicked on it enough times, and click in the middle as well, it blends it in quite nicely. So, looking good. But you can see we've got a few issues with the grass where it's just popping up. So, what we can do is we'll just call that uh, shadow. We can click in our Timo Werner uh, layer, click the layer mask, soft brush, and drop the size down. And again, I'm going to bring the flow down to about 10. Make sure I've got black selected. Simple layer mask. I'm just going to just soften up those edges. And as you take it away from the actual Timo's image, Okay, the shadow behind uh, should come through. Now it's going to cause a little bit of a problem in a minute, and I'll show you what. Let's bring that up a little bit. It's just blending it in a little bit. Bring that opacity up to 100, actually. There we go, it's not. So as it's blending it in a little bit and it's taking away that sharp line, okay, it is leaving a little bit of colour variation at the back. So click on your shadow layer and we've got black selected. Maybe that's a little bit too strong. Drop the flow down to about five. Okay, you can just paint in the darkness, just being careful. And it just adds to it there. Okay, if you're a perfectionist, just take your time. No need to rush it. Mess that up a little bit there. So I'll go back to this layer. Press X, so I've got white. Just paint it on a little bit. Anyway, digress. Really uh, take your time with that one. So yeah, that's looking fantastic. And let's just check we're all up to speed on this. Do some levels as well. So, click on our gradient fill layer, adjustment layer, go to levels, and again, like I've just said, make sure you've got clipping mask, okay, and just play around. If you're using a different player, these uh, settings are going to be a little bit different. So, I've got 20, 246. Yeah, I'll leave them as they are. You can see the, the small difference that I've made there, which is looking fantastic. Um, and then we're going to bring in the Red Bull Salzburg logo. Okay, I'm just going to resize this nice and small. Bring it up to here. Hit enter. And there we have it. It's looking good. Press Command H, get rid of those blue lines. And there you go. Uh, there's our Instagram edit of Timo Werner. The Bundesliga is back. It's looking like Bayern Munich are going to win it after beating Dortmund last night in the, the Classica. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, uh, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you like what you're, what you're watching, go check out my other content. If you like that, please consider subscribing. And leave a comment down in the description below if you've got any questions. Uh, I always try and answer them. If I don't uh, answer any questions, it's I might have missed it. I'm, I'm getting a lot of comments recently. Even on old videos, I do uh, I do see the comments and I do try and answer and uh, acknowledge everyone that leaves a comment. So, thank you very much. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. And if you want to head over to Instagram TB Photoshop Tutorials, the uh, links in the description below. Go check out my Instagram. It's got all the images that I've made. And if you click on some of the followers that have people I'm following, you can see. Uh, how people have been learning, how they've been uh, advancing in Photoshop, which is great to see. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.